Sometimes the things you see in the shadows are more than just shadows. My uncle is Mexican and Native American. This happened in the Mojave Desert in Southern California. He was driving around with his girlfriend late at night, and they saw something that looked like a huge black dog on the side of the road. He slowed down, and the dog began crossing the road, instead of walking like a normal dog would. This... thing... moved like a toy rocking horse. He said it stopped in the middle of the road and stared right at them, and its eyes had a red glow. My uncle is the most badass person I know, and it scared the crap out of him. I live in a small border town along the tip of South Texas. About a week ago, my brother told me he saw something that has been making him question his sanity ever since. He's the type of guy who will get up in the middle of the night and check outside the house to see if everything is alright. Some of the neighbors have had their property stolen, so he likes to make sure all is good. According to him, it was around 3.15am and he heard a chorus of dogs barking loudly and aggressively down the alley behind our house. So, he gets up, walks down the hall, and stares out the back door window while facing south. After gazing out the window for about five minutes, he swears he saw what he can only describe as a combination of a humanoid-type figure with the head of a wolf-looking animal dart down the alley in a flash. He describes being able to see its ribs protruding through its skin. As it ran, he said it looked like it was bending over with its palms flat on the ground, kinda like the way someone would bend down to touch their toes if they were stretching. He added that it didn't really look too hairy, but appeared to have human skin, all while possessing a translucent white smoke color all around it. Even as it was hunched over, he said it was about five feet tall and five feet long. The following day, he told my parents about it, and they happened to mention it to one of our neighbors. Turns out, a few days before my brother's sighting, their boxer had been stolen from their backyard. Instead of thinking my parents and my brother were a bunch of kooks, the lady neighbor, whom we found out came from a Native American background, and whose Native American mother had given her the dog as a gift, told my parents it was probably what Native Americans refer to as a skinwalker, and that it was probably looking for her stolen dog. She also mentioned that whomever stole the dog was probably cursed by now. 